Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. In today's video, I'm going to show, how to perform 5-point verification test on differential pressure flow transmitter. So, please watch this video till the end. First of all, let's see, what do we need in verification kit? Firstly, digital pressure calibrator, or hand pump will be required to apply pressure to differential pressure transmitter. Secondly, we need pneumatic fittings and pneumatic tubing. Last but not least, we also need ampere meter, or digital volt meter to measure milliampere output of transmitter. Transmitter need to be removed from service before performing any checks or calibration. In other words, we need to isolate transmitter from process pressure. As you can see, when transmitter is in service, both HP side block valve and LP side block valve is in open position, while equalizing valve in closed position. To remove DPT from service, close the low pressure side block valve. Then open the equalizing valve. And lastly, close the high pressure side block valve. Now, let's assume that, we have a system, which has differential pressure of 200 inches water column across orifice plate at flow rate of 200 liters per second and differential pressure transmitter has already been calibrated for range of 0 inches water column to 200 inches water column. Let's also assume that, square root extraction function is not being used in transmitter. In other words, square root extraction will be taken care separately. And we will discuss this thing in second part of this video. To perform verification check, first of all, we need calibration chart or table. For example, table like this, will be very helpful during the time of verification. This table gives you idea about the exact input pressure to be given to the transmitter, and what would be the expected milliampere output value of transmitter. So, make sure that you have this table before performing verification test. As you can see, here is the verification or calibration setup. Pressure calibration or hand pump which has digital readout is connected to high pressure side of DPT. And low pressure side of transmitter is vented to atmosphere. And digital ampere meter or multimeter is connected in series with DP transmitter to measure analog output of transmitter. And this ampere meter is in DC current measuring mode. Also note that, square root extraction has not been taken in transmitter. So, transmitter output will not be linear. Now, we are all set for verification test of DP transmitter. As we know that, DP transmitter calibration range is 0 inches water column to 200 inches water column. So, apply 0% input pressure value, which is 0 inches water column to pressure transmitter. And check current output value on ampere meter. Current output value should be 4 milliamperes. Similarly, Apply 12.50% pressure, or 12.50 inches water column pressure to transmitter. And check current output value on ampere meter. Current output value should be 5 milliamperes. Similarly, apply 25% pressure, or 50 inches water column pressure to transmitter. And check current output value on ampere meter. Current output value will be 8 milliamperes. Same way, Apply 112.50 inches water column pressure, and 200 inches water column pressure to transmitter. And measure current output value on ampere meter. Measured current output value should be 13 milliamperes and 20 milliamperes respectively. That's it. That's everything you need to do to perform verification test of differential pressure transmitter. Once verification test is done, put DPT back into service. To put DPT back into service, first of all, open the equalizing valve. 
Then open the high pressure block valve slowly. After this, close the equalizing valve. And at the end, open the low pressure block valve. In first part of differential pressure flow transmitter video series, we have ignored square root extractor. In this video, I'm going to show what will be the output of DP transmitter if square root extractor is being used between transmitter and PLC or DCS. So, let's go to the example. As you can see from this example, when actual pressure is 12.50 inches water column, DP transmitter's current output is 5 mA. And if square root extractor is being used at the output of transmitter, then current output will be 8 mA. That's exactly our PLC or DCS want to see. Most modern smart DP transmitter has square root extraction function inside transmitter. So, there is no need of external square root extractor for modern smart transmitter. As you can see, this is the standard formula to convert linear output of transmitter into square root output. As you can see, put 5 mA into this equation, and do simple math calculation. It will give you 8 mA. In other words, if input pressure is 12.50 inches water column, square root output is 8 mA, which exactly we want to see at DCS or PLC end. Let's take one more example, when input pressure is 50 inches of water column, and transmitter output is 8 mA. If we put 8 mA in this equation, and do simple math calculation, it will is 12 mA. This is the output of square root extractor. Similarly, when input pressure is 112.50 inches of water column, and transmitter output is 13 mA. In this case, square root extractor output will be 16 mA. This is the simple and easy method to convert any linear output into square root output. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this informative video. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends, if you think our content is informative for you and others.